don't beat me up y'all don't beat me up i know it's been a hot minute but i'm here now so hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video it is currently 11 13 in the morning saturday march 30th it's been about almost four weeks since i have not picked up my camera and it's been almost three weeks since i posted a video on youtube that is not okay for me, I'm really beating myself up about that because I know I could do better, but I have my reasons. Chill on me. So I don't know what I want to tell this video, but I know that it's been a minute since I filmed, obviously. Honestly, there's many reasons why I have not picked up my camera. Number one, I've been lazy. I've been in a content creator's blog. I've been kind of going through it, but my mental's all right. We have our good, we have our bad days, and we're human. So I just feel like when I do take those mental breaks off of YouTube and social media, I don't feel like I should really be apologizing for it because I have to put myself first. But then again, I chose to be in this position where I am a content creator and influencer. So I also have to, you know, stay on top of my job or whatever you want to call it. I've chosen today to get back into my routine, reset for the new month since April is literally after tomorrow. I just want to get back into a routine where I can be consistent on YouTube, consistent with my craft, consistent with everything. Because not only YouTube I've been slacking on, I've been slacking on many more things outside of social media. And I've been trying to get my priority set straight first before I can hop back onto the camera. Anyway, I do apologize for ghosting y'all. But y'all know I'm going to pop back in every time and do my big one. I just really needed the mental break. And today, like I said, I'm just taking today to, you know, kind of slowly getting back into that routine. I already woke up. I did my skincare. I ate breakfast. You know, I just got myself ready for the day. I don't really know what all today is going to bring me. But I did write some things down that I really wanted to get done today. In a minute, I'm about to go ahead and do my little bible study and if you don't follow me on instagram make sure you follow me um i did upload a reel of me unboxing and decorating my bible it was super exciting i did that yesterday i do need to clean my room i need to clean the bathroom um i do need to make a beauty supply store run because i checked my um my drawers in my bathroom like where all my hair stuff is and i don't have no more edge control edge boosters really one of the only edge controls that work for me i do have one but it's damn near gone too so i need a new edge control so i'm gonna just go buy like the big edge booster because even though i don't wear my hair out speaking of hair i did get my hair done um thursday after school i did get my hair did got straight backs so y'all y'all see it y'all see it y'all see it super cute girl ate down on my hair okay i gotta get for her props so this is gonna be in for a little minute so i definitely need some edge booster to do my edges every single day i think i'm going i don't know where what store i'm going to but i am going out again to go dress shopping for church for sunday because it's easter tomorrow i think i want to clean the inside of my car today the outside of my car is clean i washed my car like last weekend but i need to clean the inside of my car you know just get trash out all that stuff um i want to go on a walk or run depending on how i feel let me show y'all my new bible that i got i got a new bible and highlighters and all that y'all i'm super 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 excited this is it right here here it's just a pink bible honestly i was searching through amazon to see if there was different colors because i'm not really a big fan of pink don't beat me up girlies but i'm not a fan of pink just be honest honestly i don't really care too much of the color because the bible's gonna be a bible okay but these are basically the tabs that are in the bible so just you know keep it organized i'm gonna go ahead and do my bible study right now and for the ones that don't know i do the soap method and i feel like the soap is complete honestly it was a good one i don't know how long i spent um journaling i'm just gonna go over what i read i was in colossians 3 13 which says make allowance for each other's fault and forgive anyone who offends you remember the lord forgave you so you must forgive others and honestly i feel like i kind of know this already but when you keep rereading certain parts in the bible you kind of open your mind up to it you better understand like what certain verses mean so i've always seen this verse i've always heard it and just rereading it just makes me think like this is so true everything in the bible is so true and i practice exactly what 
is preached in this Bible. When it comes to forgiving, I feel like there's no reason to hold grudges against people. Just forgive and forget if you need to. Honestly, I do it all the time. I forgive people for everything they've done to me. I don't care how bad you hurt me. I'm not gonna hold grudges against you. I'm not gonna seek revenge. I will forgive you. I'm gonna let you know that I forgave you, but don't think that you're gonna have a second third chance to play in my face again or whatever the case may be that's just how i am and i feel like that's just really what this verse is telling us the lord forgave us for everything that we've done so we can really only do right and forgive other people for the evil things that they've done to us and just leave it up to god he's gonna take care of that for you there's no reason for you to try to return that negative energy to towards people or towards something just forgive and leave it alone but that's basically what i've learned from this verse um, I was reading more into Colossians. I highlighted a few things and with the soap method you really only do one verse and that's what I do a verse a day. I just read um, a certain section of the Bible and highlight you know certain verses and just pick one that I want to you know write about. That is what I do and that's what I'm going to be continuing to do every single day. No excuses. So do not mind the lighting. I know it's terrible and honestly I can't do anything about it because the sun is beaming like crazy right now right now i'm on the way to the beauty supply store like i mentioned earlier and my little thing for my camera is tilting hold on i'm on the way to the beauty supply store because i need to buy me some edge booster for my edges because i don't have any and i'm not gonna go every day without no edge control like i'm sorry literally right now and today is really my only day to go out and get what i need so that's exactly what i'm doing right now I only bought 20 dollars with me because knowing me if i brought my card i would be spending who knows what at the beauty supply store i'll be buying things i really don't even need and i'm not gonna do all that so i'm just gonna buy what i need and dip and luckily the beauty supply store is literally right near my house y'all so i don't really have to travel too far it's literally like a three minute drive that's kind of why i love where i live because there's a whole bunch of stores around here so i don't really have to do too much if i really want to go out and get something i just have to go out and go get it i'm just gonna go ahead and get in and get out of here um i don't want to park in disabled parking but like i'm only finna get in and get out so who really cares like i'm just gonna park here it's so hot outside but let me show you the edge boosters that i bought this is like ten dollars and i got this one hopefully this works on me good because if not i'm gonna be mad all of them were literally the same they said they were all strongholds so i just picked up whichever one i feel like with any edge booster it's gonna work on me well because it's edge booster like it works i'm keeping these birds in for as long as i can until you can't see the parts no more i'm not playing and i need to fix my tripod for the car i don't know why it's not sitting up straight i don't know if it's because it's unsticking i also need to put gas in my car for the week too like it's not on ee but it's two dashes from E. I i don't really drive around a lot i don't really be going nowhere besides school most of the time track meets and if i need to go somewhere in the weekend that i go but i usually we don't even fill up my gas we only fill up my gas like three times a week not three times a week what am i talking about one time every three weeks literally like that's the most times i get gas in my car sometimes i can go damn near a month because of how big my gas tank is and that's one thing i love about kids like, i don't know if it's just my model but the gas be gassing y'all like i don't have to keep filling up my gas every time plus i don't go nowhere for real so but i just got home finna head inside right now but right now i'm about to get started with cleaning up my room my room does need a little bit of some tidying nothing's dirty or anything it's just everything is just misplaced like that really be it with my room my room's never like dirty dirty it's just dirty as in messy like everything's just everywhere clothes need to be in place shoes need to be in their boxes in my closet stuff like that and sometimes i don't even purposely let it get this bad it just depends on my mood on certain days i don't know and i just leave stuff around to the point where it kind of just builds up and then gets messy but i'm gonna show y'all my room my room actually does not look bad like it was bad earlier in the week y'all and then i fixed it up and then it just kind of like got bad again but i'm gonna show you guys what my room looks like i don't know if i want to change my sheets or not i've had these sheets on my bed for a little minute now but i don't know what i want to change them to so i think i might just keep them on my bed because i'm loving the black 
I swept and mopped my floors yesterday, so that's straight. I need to pick up this stuff right here, put my shoes back in a box. I have clothes that that were, you know, that got washed. I got all this stuff here. Yeah, I just have to make my bed. This, like, it's ridiculous here. But yeah, this is what my top of my drawer is looking like. I have so many water bottles and I even have some more over there. I'm gonna fix this up, fix this up. I need to put, yeah, this is, no. My bathroom is kind of cleaned up. I still feel like I need to clean like the mirrors or something in there. I don't know, I'm gonna check back again and see if I really need cleaning my bathroom. Right, I need to clean this mirror up here. I'm just gonna really like just tidy up everything that I need to tidy up in my room because a clean room really gives you a clean mind like the way that your room looks is just the way that you're gonna feel and think all the time we want to think positive and my room is messy and I'm not really thinking too positive so let me go ahead and clean my room up right now fixing up my room i picked up everything made my bed fixed everything in the drawers put my clothes away just did all that good stuff to get my room back to where it's supposed to be i'm in ross right now trying to look for a dress to wear for church and i'm gonna show y'all the options i don't really know exactly which one i want to wear like i'm just trying to pick and choose i don't know y'all don't have many options we are at starbucks i already know what i'm gonna get from starbucks i'm gonna get a mocha crumble i forgot what it's called so it's the oreo mocha thing if you know what i'm talking about then you know what i'm talking about okay so i know what i'm gonna get um this i'm gonna get a loaf with a mocha cookie crumble oh which one the small one or the big one big one look at our drinks y'all Picture. I just made it back home. I'm over here drinking the last little bits of my mocha, y'all. 10 out of 10. I'm definitely gonna go on my run later. I should not be drinking coffee. I should not be eating anything sweet, sugary, fat, none of that. It's so hot in this car, y'all. I'm so ready to leave. I don't know what I'm gonna do right now, but I'm really just gonna chill. I'm about to head outside. I'm gonna go on a run, a 10 minute run. Like, I run over a mile when I do 10 minutes. Usually our coach want us to run, you know, go on mile runs on Saturday so that we're not resting too much so that you know, when we're running during the week, we're not feeling tired, we're not aching and all that good stuff. Regardless of if she tells us to do them or not, I do them anyway because I know that they're more beneficial to me. Like, I've been doing my runs since last year and honestly, I've seen the progress. I've gotten a lot more faster. I wouldn't really say faster, but I've been able to run my mile runs longer. I've been able to not be tired while I run them. Like, they're beneficial. If you wanna also just go on runs to build stamina, that works too. Work on your breathing and yeah i mean I, i've been doing these runs for over a year now and i enjoy doing them i don't complain i like to go on my runs like during the evening before um the sun goes down because i cannot run when it's hot outside like i only do that during practice after school this top that i have on is a workout top so i'm just gonna run with this and i put on some shorts and i just put on my running shoes i'm just going to start heading outside i'm gonna walk over to where i start my run at and then i'm gonna run then i'm gonna come back shower i don't know what else i'm doing for the rest of the day but we'll find out when i get back home it's actually the next night and yesterday i did end off um recording when i went on my run so i went on a run friday yesterday saturday and today i just took a bath and then i showered after county championships and qualifiers are coming up so i just felt like there's no need for me to be taking breaks right now since i kind of missed a day of practice because 
I had an appointment Thursday after school, so I didn't go to practice Thursday, so I felt like I just needed to make up for it. So that's exactly what I did. I've been doing mile runs for as long as I can remember, I'm not gonna lie. I've been doing mile runs since last season, and I've been doing them throughout the summer. I wasn't really consistent during the summer because it was like, it's not track season no more, so I ran them when I could. Like when I go to the gym, I would do like five minutes, 10, sometimes 20, if I feel like running a long time. Um, But yeah, I do them more often, and I feel like I'm seeing progress now. Since yesterday i've been seeing a huge drop i'm super excited for practice tomorrow i'm kind of like excited of what we're about to do so we can see how i feel when i do these workouts that she's about to give us because mondays are always our hard days so but i'm just ready to see like you know my progress and i really want my coach to see my practice as well but since it's sunday y'all i do have school tomorrow i did not pick an outfit i don't know what i want to wear it's hot so i don't even want to wear nothing too you know, I was thinking of just going chill, but I just got my hair done, so I might as well throw on a fit or two. This week is actually not going to be too much because Tuesday I won't really be in school because I'm going to be out on a field trip with my club. Wednesday, we're leaving like third period because of, we have a track meet. I don't really know if I want to vlog that day either. I'm just excited because I have a good feeling that I will be at States this year, speaking it to existence. I will be looking back at this video like, girl, you said it and you're there. It's 8.55. I wake up at like 6. 45 in the morning but since my hair is done and i don't got no wig i don't gotta worry about doing my hair so i might set my alarm to like 6 50 but i did take a shower kind of late tonight so i don't know if i want to shower in the morning but either way i always shower in the morning no matter how late i shower at night i'm gonna go ahead and try to pick out something to wear for tomorrow i really hope y'all enjoyed this video i cannot wait to edit this video because i feel like it's gonna be a good vlog back on my channel because i have not posted in a long time i hope you guys enjoyed though make sure you like comment subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video bye you guys